Assalamu alaikum everyone. So today we are talking about the modalities of cancer treatment that we have. So number one is surgery. Surgery basically helps us in removing the cancer from the body. So surgery is suitable for patients where the cancer is limited and it hasn't spread to different organs. Uh, number two is radiation treatment. Radiation treatment is again a very targeted uh, treatment for cancer and it is again suitable for patients where the disease uh, or the cancer is limited to one organ or the adjacent organs and it hasn't spread to different areas of the body. Number three treatment is chemotherapy. Chemotherapy treatment is given in the form of injections or drips and it is uh, given through the cannula. So chemotherapy drug circulates through the blood throughout the body so chemotherapy treatment is suitable for patients with metastatic disease or who has spread of cancer to different organs of the body and sometimes it is also given to prevent the recurrence of the disease for patients who have had surgery or radiotherapy for their localized cancer so number uh, four is immunotherapy immunotherapy is a kind of treatment which is again given in the form of injections and it helps us uh, making our immune cell cells active against the cancer cells so it is basically our body cells which are acting against the cancer cells so immunotherapy is a relatively newer form of treatment and it has less side effects compared to chemotherapy then another very effective treatment for cancer is targeted treatment so targeted treatments are basically tablets uh, in most cases or sometimes injections and these uh, treatments are given uh, to those uh, patients who have a particular target. The targeted treatments only work on cancer cells and they don't uh, have uh, serious adverse effects on the normal body cells. So they are relatively safe and easily tolerated. So these are the types of treatment that we have available till now for cancer treatment. But it is very important to understand that every patient may not require all these treatments. Some require one two or three treatments depending on their stage and type of cancer so it is not just random selection of treatments it is a selection of treatment through scientific evidence and scientific knowledge thank you very much